Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Starline Neck Fracture. Starline Neck Fracture extends through the sinus cross-sectional portion of the talus, just proximal to the talus head. They present one of the most common type of talus fracture around 30 to 50 percent, along with dips and evasion fracture of the talus, 40 to 49 percent. These fractures are commonly associated with subtalar dislocation and or posterior body fracture. This fracture usually results from forced hyper dose flexion of the ankle and associated axial loading. There may be a rotation component with input supination and impact on the major malleolus. They are usually a result of high energy mechanism. There is a 20 to 38 percent incident of open injury and 50 incident of other associated injury. Hawking classification. Type 1, undisplaced fracture. Type 2, displaced fracture with sub luxation or dislocation of the sub talar joint and a normal ankle joint. Type 2, displaced fracture with the body of talus dislocated from both sub and ankle joint. Canal and Kaylee describe a rare type category which in addition to feature described for Thai C, there is dislocation or subluxation of the head of the talus at the talonavicular joint. Let's see in the schema, like this one is Thai one. You can see the undisplaced fracture line of the neck of the talus. Here is this place, tie to is displaced talus next with subluxation or dislocate of the subtala joints and normal ankle joint. This is the tie shape, displaced talus neck fracture with the body of talus dislocated from both subtala and ankle joint. Type 4, displaced tala neck fracture with subtala, tibiotala and talonavicular dislocation. Plant on the ground. Can I view? I mean, we take in 15 degree internal rotation or with 15 degree shoot angle from vertical, similar to shoot, shoot angle to turn AP foot better demonstrate the fracture. It's similar, fairly similar to the oblique view. So this is the first example of the type one of thalamic fracture by Hakin. So in this type one, we had to appreciate fractures on the 
front of you, but in, we can have in the lateral, very subtle sea in Taiwan, and we clearly seen in the oblique or canal view of the fracture through the neck of the talus. Second example is the vertical fracture through the talus neck with posterior translation and anterior rotation of the talus dome fracture fragment, which is a fast gauge of pain. There is associated dislocation of the talus Crural and subtala articulation. Transfer fracture through the post proximal south of the first metatarsal and the base of the second metatarsal. So, this is the complex fracture associated uh, of talus. Tala neck fracture with first and second metatarsal fracture. This is more likely type 3. So the sample, this is and displaced fracture of the major malleolus extend laterally in both the articular surface. And we also we can see and displaced fracture of the superior major aspect of the tala neck. I really appreciate the fracture line on the canal. And we also see the fracture line clearly on the front of you, but hard to identify the fracture line in the lateral view. CT useful agent to plan radiograph to identify subtle in concrete and assist with pre-operative planning. And this space type 1 fracture may potentially be misclassified, and the majority of the fracture are not able to be classified according to the Hawking classification. The majority of the apparent isolated thalamic fracture are actually tala bone fracture, body fracture with extension into the neck. The, this CT, so the community markedly displaced fracture through the neck of talus with complete disruption of the ankle articulation. The talus dome is situated posterior to the tibia advancing ganger fat pad. Further displaced transfer fracture through the distal fibula below the level of Synesmosis, this stop fragment located posterior to the thalidome fragment. Oblique fracture through the proximal south of the first metacarpal, a metatarsal, and the base of second metatarsal injury to the wrist front joint cannot be excluded. Another example of CT scan of the talus. So the undisplayed thalamic fracture is seen, consistent with finding of our skin Taiwan thalamic fracture.
treatment and prognosis. Taiwan fracture short leg pass or boot for 8 to 12 weeks, nine bearing for at least 6 weeks. Thai 2 and 4 fracture, initial management urgent close reduction of in the emergency department with CT to confirm the caution and assist with pre-operative planning. Definitive management may require initial percutaneous pinning prior to define definitive open reduction internal fixation to allow or record time for soft tissue to settle. Complication, hardware complication, loosening, backing out, hardware or very hardware fracture, infection, tendon entrapment or injury. Thank you.